The Green Bay Packers have a great problem brewing already this early on in the preseason. I love it. I'm going to get into that in this video. So you've got to love a good laugh every once in a while. And anytime it seems that the Bears players or anybody in the Bears media is opening up their mouths about the Green Bay Packers, you've got to find it absolutely humorous. Whether it was defensive tackle, Justin Jones back in the day talking trash about the Packers that he obviously couldn't back up and didn't back up. And then you had all the Bears media, Bears fans out there and Bears players saying, that, hey, listen, we're going to dominate the NFC North now that we've got Justin Fields as our quarterback. How did that go for you? He's not even a Chicago Bear anymore. They, in fact, let him go for, what, a sixth round pick. Now I'm hearing, uh, I, you know, all of this stuff about Caleb Williams and whether it's, you know, Bears fans uh, around me that I talk to and they're like, hey, you know what? get ready because we are finally going to have a quarterback in Caleb Williams. We're going to be on top, the NFC North. Everybody's talking about the lines of the Packers. It's going to be us. I just find it absolutely hilarious. And then last year, last year you had Jaquan Brisker talking his trash about the Packers and, and, and safety uh, for the Chicago Bears there. He had a whole lot of, of, of frustration to unload on the Packers last season. He obviously can't back it up. And now the latest is Montez Sweat. You got Montez Sweat now opening up his mouth about the Packers. I just find it absolutely hilarious. So what did Montez Sweat have to say? It says right here, Sweat, who the Bears traded for during the 2023 season, is already making wild predictions about the Packers. Sweat was a guest on Greenlight Podcast, which he predicted the Bears would finally end their 10-game losing streak against the Packers. He says right here in this quote, he says, I'm letting you know right now, man, I'm not losing to the Green Bay Packers this year, said Sweat. I can't do it. I can't do it, man. I'm not losing to Green Bay this year. We've created a real rivalry over there. Hold up. Like, where's the rivalry coming from? Uh, please explain that to me, Montez Sweat. Even you as a player, you've only played against the Packers four times in your career. You've you've beat them once, but as a Chicago Bear, you're 0-1. The Chicago Bears are 10 and 0 over the last 10 games against Chicago. And uh, so, what did uh, uh, Preston Smith, how did he respond to what Montez Sweat had to say? He said, Yes, you are, bro. Get ready. And he started laughing. He did laughing emojis on Twitter. That was his response to Montez Sweat. So, I find it funny. The Packer players find it funny. It's just, it, it's just more ammunition. And, and if I'm, if I am anybody in the Chicago Bears coaching staff, I am absolutely pissed anytime any player of, of mine would be opening up their mouth against a team that they clearly cannot win against. You had Aaron Rodgers just saying he has the, the keys to the city. He owns you. He owns the city. And then you've got Jordan Love taking over, and he's 2-0 against you, dominating. They beat you to get into the playoffs. You had a chance to like keep them out of the playoffs, but you couldn't. I just find it absolutely funny. And if I were a Bears fan, I would just be so frustrated. Be like, would you shut up already? Stop opening up your mouth and giving the Packers ammunition. It, like this team needs ammunition going against us because they clearly have the upper hand. Okay, so what did the Chicago Bears headlines have to say about what Montez Sweat had to say. It says right here, the Bears win against their rivals would break a 10-game win streak for the green and gold. The Bears haven't beaten the Packers since week 15 of 2018 season. Wow. A win would also help the team accomplish its primary goal. Your primary goal is to beat the Green Bay Packers. And I find it humorous that a lot of coaches that come through the Chicago staff, when they get up on the podium and just start giving their motivational speech to the media, to, uh, to let them know what they're going to do different. Uh, some of them have stated that, Hey, our first primary goal is to beat the Packers. And it's just, it's so funny to me. You got to reach a little bit higher of a goal. If you're going to, if your goal is to beat the Packers only just one game, 
uh, maybe two, maybe sweep them. If that's your big goal, man, you, you really haven't set some lofty goals there. I love it. I cannot wait for them, for the announcement to come that the Bears have dra drafted Caleb Williams. I really can't. And, and some of you out there might be disagreeing with me right now and being like, are you kidding me? Caleb Williams, dude, he is so athletic. His ceiling is so high. Okay, let's wait and see. Okay, let's wait and see when Caleb Williams takes the field, how big of a train wreck that's going to be. Already he's got his his dad already like the Lonzo ball running the ship there um, for him. It is not going to go well. He's already made so many demands. I love it. I think it's absolutely humorous. For me as a Packer fan, I, I really hope that they draft Caleb Williams. Um, I am not scared of that. Bring it on. I love it. Thank you, Montez Sweat, for giving the Packers just an extra boost of motivation because I think over time you grow a little stale and stagnant if you keep knocking off your little brother and then, then you finally, the little brother just keeps talking trash. And then you're just like, okay, finally, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep beating you down. And that's what the Packers just got in their arsenal for this season. I love it. Thank you, Montez Sweat. Go Pack Go.